This program is brought to you by thepodcastfactory.com. Canine crew, it's time to just sell the damn thing. Doberman Dan is revealing his contrarian formula for getting a rush of new customers, building your business faster, and making the highest possible profits. Go to JustSellTheDamnThing.com to get your copy today. Prepare yourself for the uncensored, nothing held back, no BS reality of how business and life really work. Doberman Dan is off the chain. This is going to be an episode that if somebody listens to it several months from when it first airs, they're going to think, gee, that's an outdated topic, but they would be mistaken, Jonathan. (laughs) And here's why. By the way, so here's what prompted this little rant. You're familiar with the all the buzz about GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation from Europe, right? Bro, it was all Dan Meredith would email me about. Okay, and I'm he's emailing you about this, probably <laughs> not excited about it and optimistic. He's probably freaking out in some way. It's like a launch. <laughs> yeah. So and, and and this is the reaction that I'm getting from people. They're freaking out. I'm like, oh, my God, what do I got to do to be compliant? And what changes do I need to make Hysterical. on my website? And oh, my God, I got to check. And now all these different companies are sending out emails, you know, all these email, all these email kind of like drip a Weber, all these shopping carts were GDPR compliant and everybody's like, boy, we've been working round the clock and burning the candle at both ends to be GDPR compliant. There's there's people posting on Flake Book about it, scared to death and asking questions. And my reaction was, man, I can't believe how we have become castrated. As a nation, as a people, we are ballless. We have no testicles anymore. It didn't happen overnight. It seemed like seemed like it started. The conditioning started with my grandparents' generation, but they still had balls. And then my parents' generation were half castrated. My generation fully castrated. And and now it's to the point that just Nobody has any gonads left. I mean, th- think about it. So my reaction was, wait a damn minute. Some foreign country is going to tell me how I have to run my business. And if I don't do it like they say, so some law was passed in another fucking country. And if I don't do things like like they want me to do, there are consequences somehow. Somehow they're going to come after me. I don't know. I don't know the consequences of it because I don't give a shit. Is this a criminal consequences? Is this civil consequences? Are they going to find me? Are, are they going to publish my name in the newspaper of a, of somebody who was a bad boy and failed to comply to Big Brother? I mean, what what consequences are there? And what right does some foreign country have to tell me how I should run my business? That was my reaction. And I swear to God, I felt like I'm the only person on the planet who felt like this. Even big name guys I know are sending out message messages worried about this, worried about being compliant because some foreign nation published something on a website saying, yeah, you need to be compliant with this. So they stood at attention, saluted and said, yes, sir, whatever you say, sir, I'll follow your orders, sir, because I'm a stupid, dumbass robot drone clone who has been conditioned to not think for myself. So I'm just going to follow your orders, sir, and do exactly as you wish. I was utterly flabbergasted with the reaction to this. 
right now, sitting here listening to you talk about this, Dan, I know why. It is because you do not have children, therefore you're not dealing with schools, and you don't realize that they're being programmed to be like this, to be docile, harmless little shit creatures who listen when they are told. And it's bad enough that they're being programmed to submit and comply to the state, to, to authority, their, and authority to, figures, to authority figures, <laughs> put a lab in coat on their them. own country. <laughs> but yet now it is spread to other countries. So anybody with authority, bro, just listen. And that's how that's how we get into that globalized Clinton socialized world where we're all like. You know, we have one master over the whole world. That's exactly, exactly. This is like a test of that. And now this has been everybody's reaction. I've not heard from anybody who has said, you know what? I run an honest and ethical business and I've got privacy policies in place. I don't share my list. I don't sell my list. I don't participate in any of that stuff. Everything I do is above board. So fuck you, Europe. You can create whatever (laughs) paper tiger you want and scare all these other thumb sucking pussies, but not me. Go fuck yourself. I've not heard one person say that. I, I am deeply, deeply offended right now because I know that you're not reading my emails because I wrote an email that said what's got them people ruffled. Now you gave me a new idea. It's what's got them panties ruffled. But I wrote about that, friend. <laughs> it is It is in my defense. The past two weeks have been, I've just had to stack things in my to be read file. So I will get to it. But that's interesting. So so you've been writing about it. Did you Have you gotten any blowback from it? Uh, dude, I only wrote one email because it came into effect... So for everybody listening, they're going to realize when we're recording this, it came into effect last Friday. So everything was GDPR. So my email Friday was what's got them people, people ruffled. And it was just one email. And I said, please do not write me back. I don't know WTF, what the fuck GDPR is. I don't care what it is. And if you try to write me back, I'm going to ignore you. I'm just saying it doesn't matter to me. (laughs) It's a paper tiger from Europe. That is impossible to enforce. I mean, you, you, you just look at this logically. How many people in Europe are assigned to enforcing this? And it's some alleged rule that people worldwide have to follow. So therefore, it is only a paper tiger and you can ignore it. But this is just a perfect example of how easy it is to manipulate the sheeple and and almost everybody has been turned into a sheeple that's how easy it is you create a document with no teeth whatsoever that is impossible to enforce and people will comply with it amazing but true i know a guy And if I mentioned his name, everybody would know who this guy is because he was a legend in direct response marketing. And when I met him in 2002, I guess it was, or 2001, I forget, he said he had not filed a federal tax return in 20 years and he had no intention of ever filing one. And To the day he died, he never filed a federal tax return. Now, he did say occasionally he'd get letters saying like, hey, we're checking to see if, you know, we still have your correct address on file. We haven't gotten a tax return from this tax year, which he just promptly ignored. And nothing happened for damn near three decades. Now, don't 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 listen, don't. Take this wrong. I just, Doberman Dan said when they're taking them in, <laughs> cuffs taking away I, all their shit. I did not say to not pay your federal <laughs> income tax, even though, I mean, if you want to look into it, the Supreme Court themselves has deemed it unconstitutional. 
But that doesn't matter because they don't the, the, the IRS doesn't operate under constitutional law. They operate under totally different system, man, the Uniform Commercial Code and Maritime Law. So any any con- any arguments you make on constitutional basis, it doesn't matter. You're screwed. Besides, you're never going to win in the king's court when you're fighting against the king. So you pay the mafia. The mafia comes around and says, gee, you got a great business. Be a darn shame if it burned down like your neighbor's business when they didn't buy our arson insurance. And so you got to kind of do the numbers and weigh it out like, well, geez, they outgunned me about a thousand to one. So I'll pay their arson insurance just because it's easier than trying to fight these guys and have to be on 24-7 watch for them burning my business down, which is, you know, no different than what they do with the federal income tax. They, I learned on the police department, when somebody steals a bicycle and they grab the bike and they walk and they push it off or they ride off with it, well, it's a petty theft because, you know, it's, the bike is usually less than $300, so therefore it's a petty theft. But the minute they use the threat of force or actual force. It doesn't matter the value of the item. It could be a 99 cent pencil. It now becomes a felony and it's a robbery. So it's no different than what the federal government does to us, where they use the threat of deadly force, the threat of incarceration, actual incarceration or actual deadly force to get your money out of you. So don't say... Doberman Dan didn't say to pay his taxes. I'm saying (laughs) that GDPR is a paper tiger like many other governmental regulations impossible to enforce. But yet the people in control, the armed gangs who use the threat of deadly force and create these paper tigers to trick all these people into giving up their life values. They know that they don't have to enforce it. It, Even It's impossible for them to do it anyway, but they they don't have to because they simply have to create the paper tiger using fear. And 99 percent of the people will comply just like they're doing with GDPR, which if that were something coming from the U.S. government, it would be a tad bit less surprising to me than the fact that this is coming from a foreign government, yet U.S. citizens are freaking out about how they need to comply and run their businesses and affect their income to a foreign government based on a paper tiger. Unfucking believable that we are that big of pussies. Mm. Although... The positive side to this is, to any smart marketer, you have just received a lesson in how easy it is to persuade people to do all kinds of stuff, like buy your products, give you their money in exchange for nothing, as many people online do. (laughs) Um, you, you <laughs> that's know, another show. <laughs> create, uh, create a cult of people who will follow you regardless of how inept, unethical, and, and corrupt, and how much of a fraud you are. You can build a following because that is how much the people have become sheeple. That is an old school Doberman Dan rant, man. I uh, I don't even want to mess with that. What do you have coming up for us next time? Next time, I got a question. Why are so many people in Walmart fat? That sounds like fun. I can't wait. All right. Another Off the Chain show is in the can. Back in your earbuds next time. Thanks for tuning in, K9 Crew. K9 Crew, before you run off, I want to remind you, Doberman Dan has set up An off-the-chain hotline. Call in, tell us you love us. It's even better if you tell us you hate us. It doesn't matter what you say. All you have to do is call in, leave a message. The number is 321-424-6043. Again, off-the-chain hotline, 321-424-6043.
6043. This is the podcastfactory.com.